So who should buy this tool, right? If you're a homeowner, you should have a Sawzall. If you plan on doing anything in your house, they're very useful. It's a, it's a very friendly tool in a way where uh, it's very simple. It's a point and shoot, right? So it's any, anybody can just pick up a Sawzall and you know start using it effectively. Um, as long as you have a sharp blade, you, you'll, it'll work, you'll be fine. Um, again, nothing precise about it. Uh, if you want more precision, you need a different tool. But it's, they're, they're great to have. Um, I personally like I, like, I do like the Milwaukee tools I've purchased. Um, they've been very good to me. This guy, um, I've beaten up pretty good. I've used it to cut fence posts. I've used it to cut um, tree limbs, tree branches. It's okay for that. If you're going to take down a whole tree, get a chainsaw. Not what it's designed for. Um, but if you're going to, say, trim some things up in, in a tree you have in your backyard or um, some bushes, something like that, it'll do it. Um, it'll, yeah, it'll do it just fine. Or you want to take down a wall, right? It'll do that too. You can cut it through, through two by fours. Um, I wouldn't use that to cut two by fours to install because they got to be pretty precise on your measurements, in which case you'd want a different tool. But they're very, very good to have. Um, I do like these tools and I highly recommend you having at least one of them. If you're going to get either the Hexel or the uh, full size Sawzall, do the full size. Um, and get, a, get a, a plug in one so you don't have to worry about batteries. Um, because it's not a tool you're going to need all the time, but when you do need it, they're very valuable, very good to have.